Good morning, everybody. I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. It is Monday morning, one of my favorite days of the week. Hope you guys are doing well, and the week is off to a good start for you. I was watching uh, something the other day, I think it was Saturday. It was on, um, it was like a little news show. It wasn't the actual news, but it was news type show, and it was talking about um, this trend today. Uh, you know they're going to get into it. They've always got something to say about healthy, true healthy habits. Well, they were talking about um, people that are, were being, that were obsessed with healthy eating, that were obsessed with a healthy lifestyle. And the little spin they put on it, of course they're gonna put it on there as negative because when you're not doing something, when people see others out there living a different way, it challenges them, it scares them, it intimidates them. Now, to a certain extent, I agree. I mean, you know, I, I, I see that a lot of time with the networking, too. I think it's just a matter of how it's done. I don't want to, I mean, food is just a small component of things. Um, but it, it, it is a small component of things. But in my standpoint, all the components are important. So the way I look at it, especially for me, is I'm doing something that, I'm trying to reverse the, the clock. I'm trying to reverse um, aging, staying ahead of father time, and, and being 51. If anything, I'm about to amp up what I'm doing because I've, I've, I've watched things, and um, specifically for me, I know there's a big difference. I, okay, I'm 51. Between fi the decade between 50 and 60, for a lot of people, that's a significant decade because you see, you see a big decline, big decline in that decade. I have a lot of uh, people that are my age that while I pretty much know, um, just because I know their lifestyle, I mean, you know, you can look at them, they're carrying extra weight, they already have problems, but you can get away with it a little bit more at my age, at 50. Like most of the people I'm thinking of at 50, whereas they can't do a lot of the just simple things I do every day, can't squat down on the floor. If you can't do this, if you just can't simply get down to your down squatting and get back up easily, that's not a big deal. But that's a big deal to a lot of people my age. I know a lot of people my age that can't squat down like that. They've already, you know, their knees are already freezing up. Um, so they, yeah, so, and, and especially what I see 10 years in my future um, is just frightening. And I'm not going to be there. And I just, you know, for me it's just like I say, I, you know, I'm single, I don't have any responsibilities, and I do have more time to put into this stuff. And I want to see how far I can take it. I want to see how far I can push it. It's not an obsession, but if I keep feeling better and better and better and better, why would I stop? Why wouldn't I kind of keep following, kind of stay on the ride? It's like kind of, you know, you're on a carnival ride and I'm not getting off. My time to get off will be when either I start feeling worse, I'd start declining, or I don't feel better anymore. Then I might have to reassess things, make some changes or whatever. But um, for right now, yeah, I want to see how far I can go. I want to see how much better, stronger, and more energized is possible. And I think that, you know, I'm, I'm excited about the possibilities. Sometimes I sit around and I think about my age, and I'm never down on myself. Listen, I love comments sometimes, like people try to boost me up. I have healthy self-esteem, so if I'm ever self-deprecating, uh, or if I joke about myself or call myself the old man, don't worry about my self-esteem. I'm plenty, plenty uh, healthy in the self-esteem department. In fact, I don't quite understand the whole self-love. I probably love myself a little too much. I do nothing but love myself. So, you know, I'm not, I, so I'm not ever putting my things down. Um, da, 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 da. As always, I've got my, got my trusty notes here. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I look, I've been thinking about this aging thing for a while now. And I'm thinking, okay, at 51, I mean, I do have limitations. I'm not going to sit here. You know, there's too many people in this alternative health world. Excuse me, if you see what I'm doing, like uh, these flies are terrible, so I'm actually keeping my uh, smoothie covered today and the paper's trying to blow off. But, um, but yeah, I'm trying to see what I can do with this. I'm trying to see how, how far I can turn the clock back. I mean, because, yeah, at 51, I, I look pretty decent for my age. I move okay. I do day-to-day -day stuff. But I feel signs of aging. I mean, you know, like, 
uh, sometimes I'll hit, I'll, I'll get hit, like I'll hit my shoulder, I'll bang into something, and I'm like, whoa, you don't absorb a blow like you used to. Um, and I don't do a lot of sports, like a lot of, you know, like going out and playing football or something that's like more start and stop. So a lot of my stuff is slow, steady stuff, and that's what I want to continue. Um, when I say I'm up in my level, and I'm up in my level through the physical fitness, I'm up in my level through exercise, different types of exercise, I'm trying to be very gentle with myself, and I'm trying to be very uh, careful with what type of exercise I do, because I'm not interested, you know, and I, I, there is a part of me that wants to go there that just really wants to go all out and train hard and go balls to the wall and train for something crazy, like, you know, a running event or something, ultra endurance or something that's really going to take a lot of training. But for what I'm going for, for health, for aging, for aging well, it's, I don't think it's about that ultimate pushing. In fact, I think a lot of um, extreme exercise builds acidity in the, in the body, which is the opposite of what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to prepare my body to be comfortable in itself and to be able to operate and function well as I get older. I'm not about, you know, at this age, I'm not about tearing it down, extremely tearing it down, and then, you know, having to worry about what I'm eating to build that tissue back up. Anyhow, that, that may or may not make sense, but yeah, I'm about to uh, take this thing to another level, um, and I want to just kind of keep experimenting, and, and I, I, would invite, I would just challenge you to do this. It's a lot of fun, like seeing the changes in your body, and the subtle changes can be even more fun because, you know, when, you're, when you first start this lifestyle, you're losing weight, and you, everything is very visible. Everything is very noticeable. When you've been doing it for a while, there are more subtleties, but they can even be a little bit more exciting because, you know, you think like sometimes you play, well, I, am I going to improve anymore? Or am I going to feel any better? Am I going to get better at some sort of physical activity? And you start seeing that, and you just, you kind of get used to looking for the little bits of progress. Um, I, I just like where, I like where my eating is going right now. It's staying very, very clean. Um, this, past, this past time since I've been back from the States, um, I've been eating extremely clean. Uh, you know, there's a lot of time, I haven't, I've been, um, a good bit of time has been known uh, with no overt fats. I feel good with that, but I, like I say, I'm fluid. I'm listening to my body and I just want to, I'm really excited that at the end of this month, you know, if I've told you guys a million times, now we're on the countdown. Today's June 1st. As of June 30th, I won't have my obligations anymore, and then my time is mine. I wake up every day. I don't have to think like how to balance my day between this and this, and I can do everything every day that I believe takes me a step forward. Obsessive? Maybe. Maybe. It all depends on your life. This thing that, I, I mean, your body, yes, it is just a vessel, but it's the only vessel I've got for this trip uh, in this lifetime. So I want this body in the best shape possible. So any time I spend making my health better, I don't consider wasted time. I don't consider it um, obsessive. So, yeah, that's where I'm going with this. I woke up, like I said, I took a few notes on this last night. I woke up pretty excited, and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to, uh, you know, and, and it's perfect because in about three weeks will be my three-year anniversary on this life now. And I just, um, yeah, I'm like, okay, let's amp this thing up. You're about to be finished. Uh, you're about to really get into an exciting time. So this summer's going to be um, exciting, folks. Um, I hope you guys will stay watching. You'll stay tuned to what I've got in uh, store. Um, I hope this week's starting out really well for you. If you like this video, I know it's just kind of a general sort of rambling video for a Monday, but uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel and have a great week. Make it count, people. Make it count. Peace.